Hey guys, it's from Cole Black here with another video for NerdStomper.com. As always, thanks for watching my videos, and if you have any further questions, you can reach me in game on BlackRock, Flexi, F L E X X I, Horde, or leave a message on uh, NerdStomper.com. My account is Flex, F L E X X. So, this video will be on a popular subject, keybinds. I'll try to break down the important abilities to have by group so it's easy to understand what I bind them to. The groups look like this Utility, Totems, Damage, and Party. So enjoy the video and take some notes. This is a screenshot of what my keybinds look like on live currently. It's a bit messy compared to my Arena Tournament Realm or MLG characters due to extra binds like potions, quest items, and so on. The first six binds of the main bar is what I call utility. I feel these are the most important binds because they do a lot of things like CC, interrupt, break fear, heal, and uh, shamanistic rage. I like to spam, spam my keys, so 1 to 6 are very close and spammable. My number 1 key is bound to Hex. Hex is a CC that turns players into frogs. Unlike a mage's polymorph, you can DPS the target while Hex. However, it will break after a certain amount of damage. Hex cannot be dispelled, but instead must be decursed. My number 2 is bound to Windshear. Windshear is an interrupt that locks out a tree for 2 seconds. 3 is bound to Tremor Tome, which breaks my teammates and I out of fear. 4 and 5 are bound to my heals. 4 is what I use when I need to quick heal and 5 is what I use when I have 5 stacks of Maelstrom weapon. Finally number 6 is Shamanistic Rage. The new cliff makes it a lot like Cloak, so you could either use Shamanistic Rage to, uh, as a pain suppression or as a Cloak now. The next group of binds is Totems. I usually have my Totems on the bottom left bar at events to keep track of cooldowns. B is my Totem set. B is my Stone Claw Totem. Stone Claw Totem is used to absorb damage. I try to use it whenever it is off cooldown. G is my Earthbind Totem. I mainly, mainly use it to dispel snares and rarely to snare players. C is my Grounding Totem. Grounding is the most crucial totem to keep track of because it could potentially win games if you time it right. I try to eat TC with Grounding Totem most of the time and sometimes big bursts like Lava, uh, lava Burst or Shatter Combo. Next is a new keybind for me. Searing Totem, which is bound to Y. Searing Totem was never used in a TBC or Wrath of the Lich King. Blizz just introduced it in 4.0, making it a vital part of enhancement due to Searing Flame's talent. Finally, I have Mana Spring bound to Alt 3. I used to drop cleansing to remove poisons and diseases, but that totem no longer exists. The next few clips are just to show the usefulness of grounding totem and timing. The next set of binds is damage. My damage binds are kind of unique because I used um, the mouse to do a lot of my damaging abilities like Storm Strike, uh, Lava Lash, and Purge. I count Purge as a damaging ability because if you uh, purge off a nice barrier, powered shield, you're doing that amount of damage. I'm going to start with Storm Strike, which is bound to mouse wheel down. It's the first melee ability I use when I get close enough to. Next is Lava Lash, the new big burst attack for Enhancement Shaman in 4.0, which is bound to Mouse Button in 5. My favorite ability, Purge, is bound to Mouse Wheel Up. In 4.0 it was buffed in two ways. The mana cost was reduced and there's no more RNG resist. The next two are Chain Lightning and Lightning Bolt, which are kind of weird because Chain Lightning is bound to Shift T and Lightning Bolt is Shift F. The reason being is because I don't use it too much unless I have 5 stacks of a uh, Maelstrom weapon. Earth Shock is X. It's my preferred shock when I'm close enough to a target. Lightning Shield is the tilt key next to 1. It is very spammable and useful. Finally, I have F as my Feral Spirit, the big kill em cooldown of enhancement. The final group of binds is Party, which are all macros. These macros are very useful because you don't have to deselect your target while casting a heal or cleanse on your party. I have macros that heal party 1 and party 2 and that are bound to shift mouse 4 and shift mouse 5 respectively. In 4.0 Blizzard changed cleanse spirit to be an ability for all shamans and now only decurses. I have party 1 and party 2 decurse bound to f1 and f2. 
The Ed Vault does it for a groups of binds that I think that are very important. A lot of the binds that I showed you are macroed into other things such as Feral Spirit and Pet Attack. If you need help with macros, leave a post on NerdStomper.com forums and I'll check it and try to help you when I can. I know all my binds are not suitable for everybody because of hand size and keyboard so I use the 7G SteelSeries keyboard and the SteelSeries Psy mouse which gives me a, a few extra binds. Just keep in mind what binds are important and hopefully I showed you how to organize it so it's easier to bind when you do figure out your binds. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.